From the paddock here at Yonkers, Frank Drucker alongside our leading driver, Mr. Jason Bartlett, discussing the five quote-unquote French races for this week, Tuesday, uh, August 25th. First of all, Belady, congratulations, sir. A fine stakes win with Venus Delight last night up at Vernon Downs. Yeah, she's very good. Got a good trip. Got her trip, and uh, yeah, she uh, she raced really good. You know, getting hung 26 and coming home 27. So I was very happy with her. She got a good trip, though. Okay, let's talk about the Tuesday. Um, I know we've asked this question before, but let's talk about it again. Uh, you've had enough of the the added distance uh, overflow field horses or races to have a have an opinion. Like them, don't like them. Depends on the horse. Talk to me. No, you know it's uh, we're trying to help our industry, trying to help ourselves. So you know anything we're doing to try to help ourselves, um, you know I'm all for. So um, you know something different, you know change it up a little bit. So can't hurt. Okay, let's talk about the first one. He draw the inside race number six with Lorenzo Dream. And one thing you know about Lorenzo Dream, he can leave the gates. Yeah, we got the rail this week. Um, probably had too many moves there early last week. So um, Julie said he'd be a lot better this week. So. You know, hopefully we get a little bit better trip. Don't have to use him so much, but uh, he, you know, he should be up close. He seems to be a horse who, who, quite frankly, would rather have the flat mile. He tends to be one of those who doesn't have to do a whole lot more than he has to. Are you a bit concerned with him going the extra distance? Um, not. You shouldn't have to in this class. Number twelve thousand. You know, he should be. Pretty, he should be able to handle these horses. But um, you know, last week, uh, you know, I just moved him too many times early. All right, let's go to race number seven, if I can again trying to find the program. Post one in the sixth race, post eight in Noble Flow Field here with the veteran mayor, I'm Fabulous. Yeah, good old mayor, you know, she tries real hard. Um, you know, she, uh, she's she been racing pretty good. So, you know, eight hole, 12 horse field, not the best spot to be, uh, doesn't have a lot of gate speed. So we'll have to see how the race unfolds. Post number eight there, and I believe it's back to the inside, if I can find the book, the pay, here we go. Race number eight, you pick up the uh, catch drive here with a very solid optional 20 claiming trotter here in movement. Yeah, I've never driven this horse. Uh, I've only raced against her. Um, you know, she, I know she has gate speed. She's usually up close early. Um, besides that, I really don't know much about her. I talk about that. The part of your job as a catch driver is kind of learning on the fly. Uh, how do you pick up the information? You talk to the trainer, you score them down, and now you're picking up information for a horse you're asking to go a little bit farther. You know, I race against her a lot, so you know, you pretty much know a little bit about her, you know, enough. Uh, it's not like a horse coming in, you know, haven't seen her before or something like that. So I'm not really worried about it. You know, I'll ask the trainer, see what they say about her, and then go from there. Okay, let's move it to race number nine. Again, changing the page is always a bit of an adventure for yours, truly. All right, another veteran mare, this a veteran horse, excuse me, the 10 year old at Elias Joy in race number nine. Yeah, um, you know, I haven't driven him uh, in quite a long time here, probably a couple years. Um, but, you know, it looks like he's been racing okay. Not a real stout field. Uh, looks to figure in here, I would think. Uh, horse to be would probably obviously be the seven um, in the ten. So, uh, has gate speed if you want to use it. Um, the two horse race really good last week, so try to trip him out. Okay. And I believe we're back to the inside in race number ten, he says, with some degree. There we go. Seems to be your day with the veteran trotters. Here the veteran gelding Prince Lomont. Yeah, I was actually uh, really happy with him last week. I figured he'd be better on the front, going his own speed. He's kind of a one-speed horse. Um, looks, you know, looks like here I'm going to try to do the same thing. Um, you know, had, uh, had, had, you know, someone come first over at me, come battling with me for the last half. So I thought he raced, he hung in there pretty good. I realize it's not always your choice, it's not always the trainer's choice, but are there certain horses that you know would you would not rather see in the added distance? You you know are, are not going to give you the mile and a quarter. You'd much rather see at the flat mile. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is what it is. I mean, they go for great money, so, um, you know, the trainers, you know, kind of look towards the French races, you know what I mean? Hope to draw decent, and, you know, the racing thing is the same horses, so, you know, it is what it is, and uh, we'll just take it when it comes. Okay. Jason Bartlett with five this coming Tuesday. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay.